Project number 13, Control of a Chemical Manufacturing Process with a PLC. Hello everyone. In this video, I will showcase a detailed chemical manufacturing process. When the start push button is pressed, the system begins adding four different weights of chemicals into a container. The process starts by pressing the start push button, which initiates the system to add four different weights of chemicals into a container according to the following steps. V1 is activated for seven seconds, allowing the first chemical to flow in. Then it turns off. V2 is activated for 10 seconds, adding the second chemical, then it turns off. V3 is activated for 14 seconds, introducing the third chemical, then it turns off. V4 is activated for 17 seconds, adding the fourth chemical, then it turns off. The mixer motor and heater turn on simultaneously for 10 seconds to blend the chemicals and maintain the final materials temperature between 70 to 100 Celsius. If the temperature exceeds 100 Celsius, the heater will remain off. The mixer motor turns off after 10 seconds. Finally, V5 is activated for 20 seconds to offload the container, completing the process. Now let's evaluate the prepared PLC control program together. As you can see, I have already uploaded the PLC control program into my Cmatic Manager Virtual PLC software. When the start push button is pressed, the system begins adding four different weights of chemicals into a container. The process starts by pressing the start push button, which initiates the system to add four different weights of chemicals into a container according to the following steps. V1 is activated for seven seconds, allowing the first chemical to flow in, then it turns off. V2 is activated for 10 seconds, adding the second chemical, then it turns off. V3 is activated for 14 seconds, introducing the third chemical, then it turns off. V4 is activated for 17 seconds, adding the fourth chemical, then it turns off. Let's start a fresh process by depressing the start button. The mixer motor and heater turn on simultaneously for 10 seconds to blend the chemicals and maintain the final material's temperature between 70 to 100 centigrade. If the temperature exceeds 100 centigrade, the heater will remain off. The mixer motor turns off after 10 seconds. Finally, V5 is activated for 20 seconds to offload the container, completing the process. Now let's adjust the container's temperature to 75, 150, and 5 degrees to test if the PLC control program is regulating the heater correctly. According to the last condition in the main program, the heater should turn on when the temperature is 100 or below, and turn it off when the temperature exceeds 100 degrees.
Let's go ahead and test the condition. The temperature of the container is set to 75 centigrade. Notice that the heater is turned on already. And now I go ahead and set the temperature to 150 centigrade. Notice that the mixer turned on, but the heater didn't turn on. And eventually, the V5 valve turns on to, to take the load out of the container. I start the system again with a temperature of 150. Notice that as usual, heater doesn't turn on because temperature is above 100 degrees. I repeat the previous step by activating the start button with the temperature set to 150 degrees. After V4 turns on, I quickly adjust the temperature to 5 degrees. And I observe that the heater does turn on as expected. All right, friends. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I will catch you on the next one. Until then, take care.